All right, in less than three minutes, we're going to show you how to 3D print a cool QR code like this. And you can take your iPhone and it'll link you to a specific link. We're just going to look at uh, taking a QR code and making it into an STL for 3D printing or, you know, implementation into a 3D model. Um, and the link will be on the screen uh, for this website. This is the QR code to STL. What's really cool about this site is that you can choose your shape of your QR code. You can add a little image in the middle, um, choose your depth of your QR code, and it'll generate a 3D model automatically for you, which is pretty cool. You can also choose Spotify code if you want to, if you want to link to a song um, and 3D print that, or use it in a model, or even do text, which is really cool. Um, you can save as an STL in separate parts or as one piece. If you're going to 3D print it, I would recommend uh, one piece, and that's what we're going to do here at first. And we're going to bring it to our slicer program, and I'll show you how to 3D print it. Once you have it in uh, your slicer program, such as Ultimate Akira, um, just make sure it is uh, locked to the uh, base. Make sure your 3D printer settings are set up for your specific printer, of course. and. Uh, you can place it on your table where you'd like, hit slice, and then once you hit slice, let me just close that, um, you can go to extensions in the top. Um, after you find the layer where the QR code starts printing, and for me it's around layer 16, so that's where I want to do my filament change. So I'm going to go from black filament to white filament uh, to get those dual colors. So I'm going to go to Extensions, Post-Processing, Modify, G-Code, and then I'm going to go to Filament Change. I want to add that to the G-Code, so add a specific layer, th the 3D print will stop and alert me to change the filament. So again, that's layer 16, and that's it. The script is added, and then just hit Close from there. You can also add other scripts if you need to, but just for the QR code alone, all you need is that, is that filament change. And then just save to your to your uh, you know uh, SD card and print away. You can also use these QR codes in uh, 3D models if you want to bring them into Blender or some other 3D program. Um, if you do the uh, the dual part STL or separate into parts, you can do different colors and then bring them in. And this is just an example of a 3D resume that I made. If you like this video and want to see more stuff like this, such as how to make yourself a meta character or a 3D resume, just like and subscribe. Thanks all.